the great. Happy over here. Hey friends, welcome, welcome to Cooking Phenomenal. Here we are gonna have another recipe today. As you can see, I have my chicken gizzard here ready and waiting for you. And I'm gonna be doing some curry gizzard with some curry and you're gonna love it, okay? So let's begin with our recipe. The first thing I'm gonna be adding to my recipe is some all-purpose seasoning you can use any all-purpose seasoning that you want i'm going to be using this one today because it has some herbs and stuff in it so i'm going to be using this one not too much though just a little bit to make sure my meat is not soft as you can see there's a lot of other seasoning in this all-purpose okay so we're not going to over season right guys all right so for the next one i'm going to be going along and i'm going to be having some grace chicken seasoning one well, this is a one teaspoon um scoop as you know i'm gonna be adding that all over after i had that let me go ahead and i'm going to be having my garlic powder my garlic powder yes you know i love my garlic and my whatever so this is all like a teaspoon now if you need more you can add it add to it because i cook differently i don't like when my meat is salty i like when my meat has good taste then i'm gonna go ahead with some cayenne pepper right here let me add my cayenne all over because i need a little spice in my meat and for the last ingredient i'm gonna be having my black pepper okay so let's go ahead and add the black pepper right there so for my last 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 final 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 thing that i'm going to be doing let me get this out guys i got some jamaican real jamaican curry from my brother-in-law i will use some real real jamaican curry i got it in a bag i haven't even put it in a containers yet so i'm going to be using this curry today I cannot wait to use this okay thank you Donald thank you for my curry I'm gonna be using some curry powder my real, real Jamaican curry yeah right this so if you can see the color it is so pretty I'm so excited there we have it and I'm gonna be having my curry powder over my meat so for the other step then I'm, gonna, I'm not going to have another curry on my meat. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But most definitely, you know, I'm going to be burning this girl up, right? I'm getting my gloves. Get a clean gloves because I'm not going to be using my hands. And I'm going to be sauteing and rubbing this up to make sure that everything is all even up, okay? Let's rub up. And make sure everything is getting a little massage let's massage our meat and rub it in and squeeze it up make sure everything is getting seasoned okay so after i do this i'm gonna put this on my refrigerator for at least an half an hour or an hour and let it marinate and then i'm gonna come back and finish up for you and show you exactly how our curry gizzard is gonna look okay this is what we have here if you don't know how curry gizzard look this is it guys no my jamaicans know this because this is something that we love i clean everything out i use my vinegar and my my lime and i clean everything out there's some little fatty stuff right here so i clean them off with my knife and cut them in two all right this is my curry gizzard. Sometimes I cut them a little smaller, but this is gonna be the size for me. So I'm gonna marinate this for a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back and finish up and show you, okay? All right, friends, welcome back, welcome back. Here I have my oil getting hot and ready. So I've gone ahead and I've done some garlic. I'm gonna be burning my curry, so I'm gonna throw my garlic in the oil. 
this is how I do with my um, curry powder. I like to burn it in either the garlic and the ginger or, or one of them. Depends on what I'm cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the curry powder to the oil. I'm going to be using two teaspoons because this gizzard is about a pound and a half. So I want to make sure that my meat has the pretty color. And I want to make sure that it burns in the oil. Mix it around. As I always tell you, it's the way how you burn the curry, you get that flavor and that color kicking up, all right? So I'm gonna burn this curry, not too dark. After I do that, I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna be adding my meat inside of my pot. So let's go ahead and we're gonna scrape, okay? Let's go ahead and scrape the meat in. Get everything out. I'm gonna let this take its time and get it nice to the color. Look, Sara, thank you for my curry. Look at that. Let me turn my stove a little bit lower on medium heat so I can catch some color on my meat. Look at that, guys. This is beautiful, I'm telling you. And I'm going to leave this and cover this for maybe 10 minutes and stretch it a little bit. All right? I'm going to let this catch some color first. Put it a little bit. And then we can proceed to whatever else it is that we are going to be doing. So do not move a dial. Okay, friends. So here we have our curry skizzard bubbling all over. Okay, so for me, I don't add a lot of water to my curry gizzard. I didn't add any water to this as yet. It's just sweating. This is what the sweating gave it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be adding my seasoning, my onion, my thyme, and my scallion in the pot. I just got them in the same container, don't mind me. And I'm going to let, I'm going to cover one more time and let this sweat one more time had maybe a half a cup of water to it but let's see let's sweat this a little bit more first and then i will be back but before i go let me add the water to it i'm gonna add half cup i'm gonna use the warm water this is like half a cup of water i'm gonna add this to it and i'm gonna leave this to cook down a little bit more and then I show you exactly where we are, okay? All right, all right, all right. So here we are now with almost our final stage. We're gonna have the two last items, three last items, and then we're on our way. I'm also doing some green bananas here for you. I'm doing this with my green bananas. So I'm gonna just need some green bananas with this. You can eat it with whatever you like. I'm going to add some pimento seeds. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my carrot. I already cleaned, scraped and diced. Then, um, this is optional. You don't have to add this, but I love this in mine. I'm going to thicken my gravy up and I'm going to put some more flavor in it. I already rinsed this off with some warm water before I put this in and clean it off. Because the preservatives, you have to take them off um, the tin stuff, guys. I always do that, okay? I'm gonna pour this in my butter bean. I normally use my grace, but I don't have my grace at the moment. Just use any butter bean that you like. It's up to you, it's your choice. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn this baby up. And I'm gonna let this simmer. And when it's done simmering, I'm gonna show you exactly. And look, remember I did not have plenty of water and look how much water this sweat. We have so much right here we're gonna let this simmer a little bit and I'm gonna serve and show you how our curry chicken gizzard in a few moments so make sure that you keep that dial on okay and guys do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my video 
I want to see you liking, thumbs up the video guys. If you don't thumbs up the video, YouTube will not share it around. And come on, you want your cool girl cooking for them and to like be there, right? So if you haven't clicked that like button, go ahead right now and click the like button right there. Yes, that same button. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and share it with a friend. Share it with everybody that you know and tell them about my channel, okay? See you in a minute. Okay guys, here we have our curry chicken gizzard, our gravy all thick and nice. Our curry is so pretty. Everything is going on good for this meat right here. Make sure, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Cooking Phenomenal. Follow me on TikTok at Cooking Phenomenal, on Instagram at Cooking underscore Phenomenal. And we're on Facebook as Macintosh and Thompson. We have a business page. We have a website. Our website is Macintosh and Thompson LLC.com. Check it out, guys. Um, I'm gonna put, it's always in my description. Everything is always there. So check it out and do not forget to share up the video, like up the video, thumbs up, guys, thumbs up, thumbs up, and share it around, okay? So here is our finished touch with our curry gizzard and our green banana. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my videos, guys. Don't forget to share up the videos. Share up the videos. Make sure that you tell your friends all about Cooking Phenomenal. Tune in for our next cooking video. And I will see you then. Big up on yourself. And don't forget. Thumbs up the video, guys. Thumbs it up.